Welcome back to Lucas Oil Stadium. We're here with our general manager, Les Sneed. Les, how much fun is this process for you? Are you excited to just be back in the mode of looking at players and, and going through this process oh, yeah. again? Definitely. Very fun. It's, it was a sprint early. There's a lot, you know, a lot coming across your desk, a lot you got to figure out in the adjustment. But I can always say this, it's been fun and it's always fun when things start slowing down and you get back to the fundamentals and that's trying to improve your football team. How much of a whirlwind has this been? Just, I mean, it's only been a week and a half. I know you're just barely getting to know your scouts. What's, what's it been like the last week and a half since you got hired? It, you know, I have not been bored, uh, <laughs> have not had a lot of time to return calls or, or texts, but I will say this, I think I had made maybe close to 300 and something texts that I actually spent uh, Saturday, my first Saturday after I got there, you know, texting people back because they sent, you know, congratulatory. So, but that's about the only day I've had a lot of time. The rest of the time is, is, is adjusting and, and draft meetings and preparing to make this team better. No, it's not like you just started looking at these guys. You were doing it while you were still in Atlanta, obviously. They say each draft kind of has a personality. Have you started to get a feel for what this draft's personality might be? I, you know what? I, yes. And I, I think all the years I've done it, what happens is you start seeing these players even when they're underclassmen. Not that you're watching them, but you can go to a school and that guy might be the best player on the team. You see them evolve to seniors or juniors that come out. But I can say this, as much as you see them and you see them scattered throughout your fall, it's when you really start focusing and, and, and looking at each position back to back to back, going through these combines, gathering more information, that the pieces really start coming together for you. And it, things start slowing down and you go, okay, this guy, not a fit. This guy is a fit. This guy we really want. So that, that's the process. How much does your mindset have to change when you go from having no first round picks in Atlanta to all of a sudden being number two in the draft? <laughs> it definitely uh, changes a lot. And I, in my job as director of player personnel, I had to be aware of every player. So I was prepared you know, for this in terms of uh, in my old role. But I can, I, can, I can be honest and say that I did adjust my schedule in Atlanta to, to make sure I hit some players that were going to be more second, you know, that, those types, you know, later round picks because we didn't have the first. But I always, in my job, I, I would have had to do that in Atlanta. Now, we talked a little earlier this week about some of the things that you're trying to get out of this week here at the Combine. Can you just kind of reiterate the things that you're hoping to see while you're here and what you'll take back to St. Louis with you? Again, and the medical information we get is great. How healthy are they? If, if they're not, what can we do to help that player or what can that player do to help himself? Uh, that's number one. It's the first time we'll see that information. Uh, number two, I think you're going you're gonna to ask a lot of questions. You're going to get answers, and that's going to lead to really your checklist going forward on each player, be a case-by-case -case situation. What do we need to figure out on this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy? So after this process here, we'll set the tone for you know, really what we do and how we do it going forward for the next couple of months. We'll let you get back to work. Thanks for the time. Thank you.